And my name's Alex Werner. I'm the head of the History Collection Department at the Museum of London. We really cover the period of history from really around 1700 through to the present day. This collection of workshop and trade material is one of the most important in the UK. Um, it covers so many different types of trades and a lot of them in great depth. So the material we have here at, uh, in store relates to London as a workplace and we have um, enormous pieces of machinery right the way down to the smallest hand tool. London during this period was the country's largest manufacturing centre so we have one of, the, one of the country's best collections relating to trade and industry. We also have um, a very important collection relating to the development of the service sector in London. So we have probably one of the biggest collections relating to office work. Most of this collection has been inventorised, but the full catalogue is really, uh, we're still at quite an early stage. Probably the key period of time in which the collection is really, really strong is, is sort of late 19th century, early 20th century. London workshops were producing goods for, you know, the exclusive shops of the West End. And this collection really tells you about the people, um, the ways that these things were made, the objects were made. So you've got things like watch and clock making, silversmithing, um, a lot of metal working uh, trades, glass making, textile trades. The objects that we have here are um, really exclusively about London, but um, they relate to other um, industrial and manufacturing centres in, in Britain. Um, the other thing is there is a really interesting story about um, the arrival of skilled uh, immigrants to London who brought with them new ways of doing things, new ways of making things. This collection uh, really speaks to material culture, so it's, it's, it's about things, it's about objects, and it's about things that make other things. Um, so people who are interested in, say, the history of design, in technology and manufacturing, in the way that um, people work, different conditions they worked in, there's a lot of different areas that this uh, collection can speak to. Some of the new areas that people are researching this kind of material is really, I suppose, the history of technology and design. Um, so it's about the finished products, but they're also engaged with thinking about the tools that made those objects. And we're quite lucky at this museum because we have a lot of the final products as well, so we can bring two, two parts of our collection together. What I'm really interested in is people who are attempting to bring different trades together and to think more widely across uh, London as a manufacturing and, and industrial centre. The majority of this collection is in store. It's available uh, for researchers and it's stored in very, a very good environment. There are elements of the collection that are on display in the museum, but we can only display a very small part of the collection. This collection exists on the museum's internal computer catalogue, so we do have a listing of most of the material. Only small parts of it are available online. For people who want to come in to view the collection, the first really point of contact should be through our website.